What's up, everybody? Jason was there. Where are we today? We're at Dream Dance Steakhouse, Pottawatomie Hotel and Casino, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So this was one of the best steakhouses in Milwaukee pre-COVID. Had the best wine selection. The menu was awesome. The service was phenomenal. Um, and we're gonna see today how it compares. They closed down for about two years. They remodeled uh, right before COVID. COVID came, they shut down, closed for a, they were closed for a while. They finally reopened. Been here a couple times, but we're gonna see how good it is compared to what it was in the past. I'm excited, I hope you are too. Stay tuned. All right, ladies first, Carter. We're all help you ready for this today. It's going to be a food review. Great, welcome. Good to see you. There's six of us, so we got uh, or five of us. Two more coming. So yeah, we are ready. For you are okay. Awesome. A new menu. Yeah. This is a good day. Yeah, so good we're day. excited. Come on. Nice awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see how this stuff goes. This is what I'm gonna start with. I want a brandy old fashioned sweet, muddled with a little bit of extra sugar shaken with blue cheese olives. The blue cheese olives in there while they're being shaken? No, they go no. after, yeah. We're gonna add that at the end? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Yes. Good, all right, what do you guys want? It's like a brandy old fashioned sweet, no olives. We'll start with that. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. No, they didn't get rid of it. They left the price down. Oh, I Well, they did. It was. One twenty-five and two fifty. Yeah. But it's six ounces. Is that the same as it was. Yeah. It's six and four. Huh. Have you ever had halibut? I'm not. I I think it might. Don't try it. If you don't cook it right. Oh, you guys. You guys have had it. I have. Oh. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Get the porterhouse for two. That's actually a good deal now. You know, in my younger years, I could eat this. Right? It's way more reasonable than it was. Isn't that what you're getting with? Porterhouse? You know, if you could smash that 32 ounce porterhouse, I'd be impressed. <laughs> That'd be easy. Haven't you ever done the... Oh, remember back to the prime quarters? Well, they still have them, yeah, in Green uh, Bay. I think Green Bay, so yeah, yeah the 40 ounce. Yeah, beef easy. Oh. Hey, what do we got here? It looks Brand good. Perfect. Thank you. I think we'll order a bunch of appetizers, if that's okay. What do you guys want for appetizers? Uh, do you guys like seafood? He does. Uh, do you guys, Carter and... Is yeah, that good? Do they have the same breading as the, um, as the onion rings? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're more like a potato. Let's do the large seafood. Do you guys want extra oysters? Do you like? We are 86 oysters. What? We have sold out of oysters for the You're sold out? I am. Oh, okay. Uh, three orders of the meatballs. 
probably the prime steak tartare. What else do you guys like on there? Crab cakes, tuna, any of that stuff? The tuna? Yeah? The tuna's awesome. Steph, anything else? Yeah, there's a big seafood platter. He's getting, he's getting crab cakes. He's got oysters, whatever that king, I would that king crab. I don't know. The oysters are, they're sold out, so we can actually round it out with extra shrimp. Shrimp is fine, yeah. We'll do that. Uh, can we talk to Row 2 about wine? Please, thank you. So I have the orange tower, the three maples, the tartar, and the two. Yeah, we'll do that. Thank you. So I actually did a nice job on this. Blue cheese stuffed olives. They're the best. So it's a brandy old fashioned sweet with a little bit extra sugar shaken muddled with blue cheese olives. What do you think? Not a fan of uh, bitter, so I don't like it. So good. I'd rather just do a brandy sweet. Throw a couple olives in there. <laughs> I don't think they're shooters. <coughs> That's how he does it. Even his Bloody Marys. It was good. <laughs> Made a nice job. So for the seafood get platter, you, uh, I'm going to suggest a white wine, okay. no, a Chardonnay year. actually. Well, it's, it's 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 a young one. When you, when, oh, you want an old one? No, I don't care. Oh, no, you know, I, I'm going to suggest this for a reason. Okay. It's called Bravia, okay. and it drinks with like a Burgundy and slash American together, right in between. I like that. <laughs> okay. What's the price point on that? 65, 65. Okay, so it's reasonable. Yeah, yeah reasonable. Awesome. Okay. And then. Um, why I'm doing this because Bravian is, it's um, the guy who makes it, it's a Native American. Okay. So the whole Native American thing. Yeah, pot of water. Right, right, like and so, and, and um, when I tasted it, I said, wow, great wine, made it in the U.S., perfect for bottle water. I like that. Okay, so we'll do a bottle of that, and yeah. then let's talk about uh, right. main course. We're going to do probably a lot of red meat. Yeah. So what do you think? Of Okay. So let me get the the, so we don't do work the white wine to start. Sounds good. You'll think about it. Yeah. Okay. Let me, sounds good. Thank you. We have the Bravium 2021 Chardonnay Russian River Valley. Awesome. I'm sure the service will be excellent. That, that's one of the things, yeah. So it's going to be 1 to 10 on service. It's 22. 21. That is wonderful. Yeah, very buttery. Yes. Yes. Love it. Let's do it. I'm gonna edit that out. What would you say, Dan? You're so fucking bougie. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get that out of here for sure. <laughs> bougie. So you won't do wine though? Or you will try wine? No, 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 I don't want it. No, thank you. He needs a mixed drink though. Or no, five. I do not. I'm driving. So. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Thank you. Actually, she she's supposed to be off on Thursdays, so tomorrow she was supposed to be off. She originally wanted me to ask you to get us a room, so that oh, do you want one? No, because she has to work around. Oh, I got you. Perfect, thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Just we need bread. My problem with bread is that when I see it, I just eat it all. I can't help it. Uh, it's like Olive Garden. <laughs> Keep me away from that place. Yeah, I'm that way with potatoes. I don't eat bread too much with potatoes. Potatoes, I'll, yeah. I'll smash the fucking french fries with potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, give me a good baked potato bar with uh, mm. as much sour cream as I have yeah. potato, and I'll yeah. destroy it. So. All right, what do you got? Okay, so 
I'm thinking three things. I mean, you can tell me with what you like, okay? Okay. I, I was thinking of 2014 Spotswood. Okay. That's one. Then I was thinking about Joseph Phelps, Napa, 2016. Okay, so I 14, 16. But these are the bottles we have, so I just want to make sure we yeah, yeah. have it in, in stock. And also, I thought about 2014 Paradigm. Paradigm. That would that would be that would be nice too. Yeah. So I saw the 14 and 16 in that. Area. I'm gonna trust whatever you think that we should drink. We're gonna get. I want to show you the price as well before I. I so the pricing, yeah, I'm not not too concerned about. But I thought this 2014 Saint Helena. Yeah. Spotswood. Have you ever had Spotswood? They always get a high point. I have 2003 at home. We do? Yeah. So you, don't, you don't drink this? No, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll definitely you do it. You can always change it if you don't like it. No, we're never going to do that. But no, yeah. I haven't drank it. I just have it sitting there in my cellar. So, so why don't you try this one? Yeah, well, we're going to do that. Do you want to do all three of those bottles? No. Or what do you... well, yeah, we can change it if you like. No, do we want to... Well, let's get let's get two different ones yeah, okay, let's that are going to go well with so red meat. Let's, let's do Paradigm and, uh, and the Spots. Oh, that's great because we got one from St. Helena and we got one from... Uh, Paradigm's Oakville. Oakville. Okay, so yeah, that's that's perfect. Let's do it. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Yep. Well, thank okay, you. Thank you. <laughs> Just two different bottles of wine. How do you know the years? <laughs> well, it says it right there. Well, I mean, how do you know they're gonna taste like? It it always depends on the growing conditions. It depends on like. If there was a fire, it depends on how much rain they had. It depends when they harvested them. I mean, you said you had a 2003 at home. So yeah. is 2003 going to taste like the 2014? No, totally different. Totally different. That's 2014 that we're getting. Totally different. Yep. So I've actually got wine back in my cellar to 1969. Yeah. What year were you born? 78. I've got some 78. I've got some 78 Chateau du Pop, Chateau de Beaucast style. I didn't yeah. know you were such a wine geek. You never, you didn't go in my cellar that time. No, um, I just yeah. stayed outside your house. Yeah, we got a, we got a cellar with 2,000 bottles. Yeah. Yeah, I don't drink at home at all. I give it away to people and it's an investment, really more than anything. So. I suppose you could turn around and sell that 1969 bottle for. It depends on what it is, but if it's stored properly, so I have a humidity controlled room. One of my buddies put in, um, it's like a little air conditioner and yeah. it sprays water all the time in there. Oh, yeah, and it's perfect, perfect temperature at all times. So. We have another party this July. I'm gonna have to stick around longer and actually see you around. Come for Christmas. Yeah. Christmas? Yeah. Christmas is the fun one. Christmas. Do you guys do stuff for Christmas? Oh, then you guys gotta come this next year for sure. Yeah. That'd be yeah, great. You're gonna have a spare room? Yeah, no, we definitely we got you. We got you. You guys can come for Christmas and then Santa Claus comes. Oh Lord. Yeah, you can sit on his lap. I'll let my wife do that. I'll <laughs>
Spectacular. Oh, you need some more. Oh. I got you. I'm here for. Still up here for. Then pay for the bill. <laughs> The white, yeah, the white's really good. The, the red, it'll continue to open up here. You're supposed to do the twirl after, I think, and then wipe it off. So is it, are they dry? The more you drink, it's good. Obviously. The red one's pretty good. Holy shit. There it is. How are we doing tonight, sir? All right. Looking forward to this. Oh, meatballs. Oh, meatballs. Could I put I'll just leave it Anywhere, there. yeah, you can throw them all over the table. Okay. Right. You want me to pour some Uh, yeah, I poured a little bit of chocolate. Enjoy, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. That is insane. So we got meatballs. We got some tuna. I think that's all we ordered. A tartare somewhere. Awesome. I'll start with meatball. Hey, meatball. meatball. All right, meatball. You're a meatball. I am a meatball. Have some sauce on it. What the hell's all that? What's all that? What do you want, Jason? Uh, nothing. I mean, you got all you got is lobster, shrimp, and crab. Oh, they didn't even bring the. Um, they had like a. Uh, what is it called? A scallop crudo or something? Some like raw scallop that was. Right, right, it's really good. All right, we're gonna try the meatball here. We're gonna do it with a little bit of red 2014 paradigm. So did you guys get rid of the um, the scallops? They took that off. You guys got that off the menu. Okay. You have the steak tartare. Oh, there's the tartare. Oops, right now. I'm sorry. So I'm slide this over so you can get this done. You can take that, actually. That was well done. Round sure. Really awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you. You're very it's, um, I think it's a German or a Dutch thing. Hmm. And it's more popular around Christmas time, but around the holidays. Yeah. Rye bread, onion. Raw beef sandwiches, yeah. man. We call them cannibal sandwiches growing up. That's you come over for Christmas here. That's all yeah, you can eat. Yeah, but, no, in my, but in my household growing up, we had it on Wonder Bread <laughs> and orange <laughs> salt. Lowry. Great. Thank you. I'm in. All right. So, what do you think of the meatball? I think they're good. I like them. Dan, I haven't even dove into it yet. Go. No. But I'm about to. So I don't know if it tastes like the water. Are they Not a fan of the tuna. It seems dry to me. The meatballs have been, are better than they have been. Yeah, they're pretty good. Dry. It, it's not supposed to be that way, right? No. Okay. It's almost like they made it yesterday. It's dry. All right. You can go for it, yeah. That'd be great, thank you. Good wine. It's I only have one before in North Carolina there. They're becoming popular, they're called right. shareable places. Steak tartare. Where like the five of us would go to a, a restaurant, order something, we would share off that oh, plate. Yeah, that's cool. And it was, um, uh, I'll right chop my hand, it's actually not so bad. Yep. I mean, the meatball, like thank you. I'm gonna give it about a seven. This is the best it's been since I have, I've been at the new restaurant here. So drink your wine first to get the full experience of your food. But then again, my, my expectations are set high because I grew up in the south, so a lot of the seafood is completely different, but I will give it Wisconsin for salmon. Yeah. Y'all salmon is great. I mean, it's amazing. Cod, I really like cod. Um, cod's about the only fish it's that I eat. It's going to eat. And it has to be fried. Uh, cod is the only fish. Walleye was alright, but it kind of surrounded me like a bad catfish. 
that's not it's not for any of them. Did they recently just have like, I had capsules, right? Yeah, you had capsules from Louisiana. You guys want your tartar? Yeah. I'll take some. Uh, Roll me, honey? All right. Thank you. I'll try the lobster tail. Hard to screw this up. It's actually cooked pretty perfectly. Seems like a little lemon. Horse radish or cocktail sauce. I'll pass on that, but thank you. Probably not the proper way to eat that, but I don't care. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. Love it. So one thing I really like about the... Did you try the lobster yet? Uh, no. It is cooked perfectly. I mean, it's almost to the point where it's undercooked. Which is that is, where it is? It is perfect, yeah. Every time I've ever tried lobster, it always tastes rubbery. So not at all today. That's overcooked lobster. Just peel this thing out of here. I mean, hard to screw up shrimp. Yeah, stick your finger in, in between the... You want to use your finger. Work your magic. I'm old, Jason. I don't know how to use my fingers anymore. No. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Now, back in 1994, I had a rock. That was a good year. <laughs> Put a little lemon on it, squirt it on. Yeah. So the shrimp are actually cooked perfectly too. It's not, they're not over, like a lot of times they're just, they're, they're, they're a little rubbery, right? Yep, So the meatballs are overcooked. What is that right there? I wouldn't say mine's overcooked. Mine's not bad over here. Works right up on this shit. Let me try it. All right, they're making these real easy for us to eat. How much bread is that? Ah, I don't know. Oh, the, the furry claws. Furry claws? <laughs> so it's all furry. You know what I look like? What? The crabs are right. We probably don't even have crab crackers here, huh? Yeah, though, but Dan, on Christmas, it's all cannibal sandwiches. That's what, that's our, yeah, I like that, and I like Reuben, Reuben dip. Yep, I'm down. You tell me when, I'll be there. Yeah, every Actually, Christmas you Eve. you got a room for me? Yeah. Spend the night? Yep. I'm in. Sleep you can stay right in the wine room. What's that? Stay right in the wine room. <laughs> well, I'm in the basement. You give me a corner with a pillow and a blanket? Comfortable Actually, no, you can sit in the theater room. Yeah, the theater room. Pretty comfy, right? Oh, we got you. Alright, so the, the, the crab is not... It's almost like it was just the thought. Right? You taste that? Yeah, so... Yes, sir. This stuff tastes like it was just the frosted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but everything else was like really, really good. Yeah, no, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Just being honest, um, mm -hmm. the, I mean, you guys are, are you guys cooking the, the lobster tail in the house here? Yes. Because it is cooked perfectly. Okay, good. So it's good. But, but you guys got it. You got rid of it. 
Who do you got? Oh, the old people. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm I don't know what so you're in there doing it? Oh, they've, they've done a great job. You're not a seafood person, are you? Yeah, and I like the new menu. So the prices are more reasonable. So whenever we go to visit his family in Texas, you're going to get a lot more people in here. Yeah, I usually like it, right? Well, A, it's Texas. Yeah. No, this is great, though, so far. So. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. Again, I'm not as famous seafood. I've come around over the years. I'll eat well. I mean, first several years you knew me, I'd eat fried, like, eating. I'm eating with cocktail, uh, corn shrimp. This time, I'm eating with wine. So she's turning me around and eating some of the prawns and all this. And I might, but I tell her all the time, I would want to go down to like Louisiana. Yeah, that's where you went. Just to try the prawns. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, thank you. My, uh, my dad just took a... Would you, you would do crawfish over catfish? I've never had either one, but... Would you I'm, suck the brains out of those? I, I would because I know that's that's where the that's where the flavor is. That's Have you had black cod? Black cod and they like they char it a little bit. It is phenomenal. Yeah. I'll take you guys down to. Uh, I think they've got it or sea bass. Sea bass, another really good one. They've got it down at the uh, Hugo's or whatever down in. Um, at Rivers in Chicago. It's a um, Gibson Steakhouse. Are you getting sides? Fries. Do you have fries? In the house. Do they still have fries? Oh my goodness, I believe they removed those. They did. Nope, I'll go to the New York stir uh, sirloin instead with no sides. There you go. <laughs> So they got rid of a. Um, so he got the New York strip. Yes. Did he get a side with it? He did not. No. Because he didn't like any of the sides. He doesn't need any of that stuff. No. Can you get him the Wagyu too? The six ounce, the same way. How He'll eat that, right? Yeah. How does the gentleman take his steak? How does he take his steak? Medium. Medium rare. Medium rare. <laughs> You know the difficulties we've been having. You have to empathize with me. How do you take your meat, Carter? Medium. Very rare. Oh my god. You. You guys need to Oh, it's amazing. So did Carter order? You guys are calling him. So I'm going to call him. He wants the New York. I would say medium rare. Well, because we, what did he get? What kind of flight? New York strip, so medium rare would probably be good because we were ordering the filet and it was just a little too done medium rare lately. So, but we have new chefs in here, so. Yeah. Get the big one. Get the big one. Wow, Millionaire's Potatoes. What is that? Oh, it sounds delicious. Good. Yeah. So, Millionaire's Potatoes. White truffle oil, white cheddar, summer truffle, seared duck liver. Wait, what? <laughs> Seriously. Faux gras, duck liver. I think he just ruined it, but we'll take it. Okay, what do you think I should get here? You're a filet girl. What is the petite steak Diane? What is that? Do you even know? I do. I, oh, she's I, It was not fully plated for us today, and because of its incompletion, I cannot give you a sincere answer. So you have domestic lamb rack. How is that? Have you tried that? 
Everyone got it? Yeah, nobody, nobody ordered it. Okay, so we're going to order that for the table. The domestic lamb roast? Yeah, we're going to order that for the table. How would you like that for well, probably what the chef, what the chef says. Yep. All the stuff that I've tried is like Um, for myself. So I always do the fillet. Should I do something different this time? Any of these things that's gonna be good? Is this is this good or not? That was beautiful. This looks good as well. I'll try the porterhouse for two. That's giving me two cuts, right? Yeah. The strip and the uh, the fillet. Um, did we order any broccolini for the table? Yeah. We're gonna do that. Asparagus. So broccolini, you're gonna have to do two orders, I think, because you get like one little piece of a top on it. It's an order. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did we order any cream spinach? Let's do it. Anything else we should order for the table? What do you want? Sorry, I just have to change his potato when you get him in. The regular potato? He doesn't want the millionaire potato. What would you rather have? <laughs> There's baked potato. Yes. You have regular baked potatoes? I you have, don't have them. I have mashed potatoes. And I have twice baked potatoes. What was that? Mashed and twice baked. Oh. Alright, so we're also going to try uh, the lobster mac and cheese for the table. We're going to do a lot of this stuff. Okay, so... Any of this stuff that's worth it or not really? Oh, you can get seared diver scallops on the side. That's your only scallop option. However, I don't believe we have scallops. So yeah, you got you got them off of this. We do have yes, we do have that there. Okay, we're gonna do. Let's do a side with five five pieces of perfectly prepared oyster scallops straight from Hell's Kitchen. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? I do. Can you do some risotto too, like Corner Ramsey does? I only have the cream. You're the worst. I want some house steak sauce on the side for mine. It was disgusting, but today it's gonna be different. There's a different chef. You have a lot of things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else we should order for the table. What about the double cut pork chop? Will you guys eat pork chops? I'll try it. Can you guys, can, um, can, so the lamb rack just cut it up into small pieces for everybody? So everyone gets a bone or whatever? We can do it lollipop style. Yep, yeah, perfect. And then uh, slice this up so we can just grab it off the plate in the middle. Yeah. You just cut off the bone and then just do the, the checkerboard crisscross, whatever. I think that'll... Do the or Yeah, that's perfect, yep. Oh yeah, because you can eat pork now. Yeah, you can eat it rare. You just eat it right off the pig. I don't do that. I don't do that. Probably medium rare, I would say, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And if the, the shareables start coming out earlier, we'll do that. So. We can do that. We'll let you. We might get some more wine too. Just for fun. Yeah, so she loves the white. And they love the white. So let's do another type of white though. Because since I know they like this, but we want to. Something a little. Let's see what Rose says. Because we have a sommelier care in the category. I don't want to screw up the service category. Right. I'm going to recommend the blanche from the Serrano family, but... Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do Arnais. Lange, Piedmont area, Lange. Lange, Arnais. Have you had that before? Arnais, the grape? Lime what is it? Lange, lime what? Lange. <laughs> and Arnais is a grape. So what is, is this, is there no vintage on this one? No. Yeah, it is. It's about 2020. Oh, 2020. Okay. Right. I have not had this before. So I have it. It's good. It's Piedmont area, Barolo area. Yeah. And that's white from there. Yeah. Look, okay. try it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh.
<laughs> yeah, we can take, we can take that. Yes. Uh, the centerpiece. Of Thank, the you. Table. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. All right. So this is the Lagne. 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 All right. So right here, Carter. So we're gonna sniff from the chin. A little bit from the nose. <laughs> this is not even funny. They think it's funny. This is like the little. This is like the. This is like the person. This is like the person at a funeral that can't stop laughing. Here we go. And then you bring it up all the way in. See, told you. And as you breathe, as you breathe in at the end, that's when you want to grab the. I'm getting sense of Lake Michigan. <laughs> Crypto we'll put, put, the, put the, the southern end. <laughs> southern end. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. We love it. The southern end of Lake Michigan. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's not that crappy north end. Oh yeah, that was good. Oh shit, that was funny. Actually, it was funny. I give you credit for that Thank one. Thank you. All right, so we ordered you an extra steak. Outstanding. It's going to go home. And we ordered, uh, we ordered the, the Wagyu for you as well. Oh, boy. So, and then we ordered things to share. We ordered um, lamb chops, pork chops to share. The mashed potatoes with duck liver. Yep, I don't, yeah, someone ordered that. I thought you did. I can't I No. No, oh, then no one did. I did. Did we order the the millionaire's mashed potatoes or one? Person. one person did. Oh, we ordered that. The lady. Can we? Okay, Steph. We might try a plate of them if that's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a shareable. Yeah. I don't know how much duck liver we need at this table. Thank you. Very much. Cool. Awesome. You're very welcome. So industry. We all ordered steaks, and then you ordered this shit. This is just um. This no, is that, this is shareable. This is shareable. This is the the dry. So like when you're sending your kids to school and you're packing their lunch, this is this is what he's got going. Gotcha. Yep. You get a little. Everyone gets a little bit to try. All right. So we'll see what this pork is all about. I think it's overcooked. From what I have. What do you guys think? It's very tender. It's actually not bad. I think the white wine is what you're going to want to do with this. That little bit of fat on there is actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a bomb. Me too, for that matter. And we have our lamb lollipop stuff with pasta leggings and our dry door count cherry field demo sauce. Wow. Thank you. Uh, more of this, please. Go around with that. Did we prefer this one? The first one was better, I think. Yeah. Let's take this part. Oh, you think? With some beans. Mm -hmm. Megan, have the other lollipop. All right, so the lamb chops. Yeah, they look amazing. They're on the edge. I'm just going to pick her up. Just get it. See, you would really impress Carter right now if you just picked it up and just smile right in. Pretty up. Lamb over the pork, I that, yeah. Um, have you had better lamb, Carter? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the lamb is probably uh, a mid sevens out of ten. I think the pork is. I, I would be, yeah, I'd be right there. I think the pork. The pork is probably a, a 4.8. Yeah. Okay. I went to Brad Paisley there last year. We actually, she had to Google last night when the concert actually started. Yeah, because it's open. Because my, my, my ticket, my ticket message said the doors open at 4. That's yeah. all it says. Wait, I think yeah, I got the T-Bone. Like right? Did I get the T-Bone? Yeah. yeah. The ribeye goes to someone else. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, it'll be packed. I mean, they're both sold out. Oh, good. No, we're good. We're good. So I don't know what time we should go on. Yeah, Thank you. So here you go. You did. We did it. Nice. <laughs> turf and turf. That's how I roll. Exactly. All right, what are we going to do? All right, we got the big filet. Cartier, what did you get? New York strip. The strip. That's a crazy strip. That's a huge strip. That looks actually pretty good. Hey, that's. You happy with that? Or you think it's overcooked? It's a little bit overcooked, but. All right, all right, really good. And whatever that garbage is, just kidding. No, it's great. Just joking. All right. Okay. All right. I don't want it. All right, Dan, how is it cooked? Mine? How'd you order yours? Medium rare? Medium rare. And that is the strip. Yes. All right. Did you get steak sauce? I wasn't here, so I was hoping somebody got steaks. So I got a little is, bit. I'm going to give some to you. Is this the Wagyu one? This is the Wagyu, yep. Right, is that what this is right here? Yep. It's yeah. all for you. Ah, thank you, brother. Who needs more red? This is what you want to cleanse your palate with. All right. First taste of Wagyu. Is it worth the hype? No. Yep, told you. No, so then that's a small that's a small piece. Lift it up, show it to the camera. Yeah, that's overcooked. Yeah, it's it's not. Actually, do they bring salt and pepper? What do you say, Sam? Yeah. A lot of Sharon. Can we have some salt and pepper, please? Okay. I'm gonna try it first. Oh my lord. Here. Ah, excellent. Thank, Thank you very much. Wowza. Overcooked. What do you think? I would say that's not quite medium. <laughs> I would say it's more medium. Mm -hmm. Or medium or plus, but not medium. We'll make it work. We will make it work. Oh shit, that's a lot. And then he can talk to the Will you freak out? Is one of those. Really freak out. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good so guys, here's my here's my medium rare filet. No. Epic fail. Oh, this is well done. That's why I said, yeah. Would you imagine you could just spend yeah, 125 on that? No. I have to be all my soul with her. Yep. Now with all the hate that you hear. Yeah, I know. So the one thing Potawatomi used to do, or a dream dance, is they used to give you really thin pieces of meat. And now they go with the big monster. Yeah. I mean, I can just see from looking at yours, Dan, it's just not. No, it's medium. Yeah, it is. It's pretty bad. Yeah, they changed up the sauce. It ain't the same. Lobster mac and cheese, see how that is. So who's the cooking in there? The only thing I cook is like things that can go in an air fryer and let go. You're better than that? Yeah. He will 
we'll have absolutely no groceries and he'll make like freaking some gourmet meals. Nah. This is good. All right, so the macaroni and cheese is actually okay. It's actually it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Try this, you guys. See what you think. Where's the million dollar potatoes? How are those? Right here. All right, we have a lot more of this wine left too. The rest of. Million dollar. All right. Million dollar potatoes. Here's the full broth. I can't believe they're mashed, honestly. I thought they'd be like. I'm just gonna do a little bit of the full grab, just to say a minute. Full grab. Full grab. All right, you can pass them back over. Did you try them, Steph? Yeah. I don't taste... I don't taste a lot of truffle. I taste... Yeah. Here's their idea of medium rare tonight. Hey, man. I know. I know. So, I'm gonna, I'll be honest. So, the, the appetizers were... They are pretty good. Like, way better than they have been. Okay. The cooking of all the steaks was... Overdone. Uh, and I, I'm just, I mean, completely honest. Well, supposed to be medium rare. I mean, that's better. It's closer. It's better. Yeah. Carter's was, I thought, overdone yeah, looking at it. And then Stephanie's was tough. But I mean, you guys are going through some stuff, so I get it. Some things were really good, like the the lobster, the shrimp, cooked perfectly. So we also did order five scallops. Do we have the scallops or no? That'd be awesome. Thank you. Let me try those. He does not seem happy. Well, he's just embarrassed because it's like, they shouldn't even go out. Now, um, the broccoli tastes like just broccoli. I mean, there's no flavor. So sometimes you'll get broccoli where it has like a little bit of spice with it or some butter. Yeah. Nothing. Broccoli. It's cooked perfectly. Yeah. That's about it. Can you have me a spoonful of the the broccoli, uh, the spinach, please? Yeah, I'll try a little bit of that, please. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm just, just going to pick it right up. Nope. All right, so the cream spinach. He's the one with the. Uh, That's right. That's medium rare. It's, it's way overcooked. So way over. overcooked, overcooked. That was really tough. So like the appetizers were really good mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, this is sort of underwhelming, but it's sort of like it has been. Do we want to send back an election? We're not gonna do that. No, no. no. that's fine. Okay. It is what it is. Is, anybody, so. is anybody else wanting to? No. Oh. Are we doing dessert tonight? We'll try some dessert. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll try some dessert. Okay. I'm sorry about that. No, it, I mean it is what it is. I mean we're. I mean you guys are. Because that's medium well, not. Medium it's medium rare. well. Yeah. That, yeah. That, so the one thing Carter had ordered his steak mm -hmm. rare, and we're like, and he walked away, and we're like, no, you can't order it rare. But I said the reason he ordered it rare is because it's been so overdone every time that we ordered it. Yes. You don't but, ever want to order something that you guys don't want. We would rather that they would cook it correctly. Cook it yeah, we would rather. Yes. I guess we would rather have it come to us undercooked, so yes. we could send it back to over to mm -hmm. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is, so we're not we're not saying anything back. So no, but feedback is good for us. Well, we showed him; he didn't seem too happy about it. <laughs> 
We show Sachi and that's Yeah, I mean that's... <laughs> that's well, I'm going to have to say some words too though. It, I mean, and you guys are going through new... Changes. New people yes. in the kitchen. Yes. It is what it is. So the broccoli really has no flavor. It tastes like broccoli. The broccolini? So we were just in, yeah, we were just at, I was at Hugo's last night. I mean, it was perfect. Yeah, that's a Gibson Steakhouse place in Chicago. Um, a little bit of spice, a um, little bit of sweetness, a little bit has butter in it, has everything. That you just taste broccoli, right? Just broccoli, no yeah, and even the special. even the truffle potatoes. Mm -hmm. Billion, I mean, millionaires. Yeah, potatoes, it's, it's yes. not millionaires potatoes. I mean, it's what did you say? It's um. <laughs> So to me, it, like, I don't even really taste good. a lot of truffle in it. Okay. But you're, but you're not charging enough for it to have a lot of mm -hmm. truffle in it. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys really want to do billionaires yeah. potatoes? Charge, like, my opinion, charge a lot <laughs> and do table side truffle shavings in it. That's a good idea. That's what I would and do. And we switched out our yeah. menu yeah. today, too, so we are working on it. But this is back is. Yeah. 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 How are the big spinach in Really good. Good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was so... So even... He had like an eight pack. potatoes, okay. The billionaire potatoes, charge it like it's a millionaire potato. 20 years. Fancy. But do it that way, right? Yes. You need more butter in it, too. Mm -hmm. There's no flavor. There? No. No cheese? Okay. Not really. Okay. okay. So, appetizers were really good. Um, if you guys are cooking the... I don't know whether it's 250 or 450. The lobster and the shrimp in house. They're like almost undercooked. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. The crab tastes like it was just defrosted. Crab cake. No. Did you guys have crab cake? No. The crab and the seafood salad. Okay. Okay. And I think you guys are short on the things you guys are offering in the seafood salad. No, you should be. Well, the nine years oysters. You're not offering. The, Scallops, you were offering before. I mean, you offer some sort of uh, octopus salad. I'll offer some sort of seaweed. You have three options on there. That was it. It seems it seems light for what you're paying for. That's just my opinion. I've seen it at all places. If you want to do what you're doing, do it. But then come out with dry ice on it and make a freaking smoke crazy presentation. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I, said, I said a row too about the oh, yeah. about the um, you guys don't have any oysters. I was like, yeah, I was like, and he said he rejected them. I can totally appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Don't accept the, the the bad the bad oysters because nobody wants those. Because yes. I had those here before mm -hmm. and they made me sick. But I mean, running over to public market and getting a box of them. It's right down the road. It's right down the road. Yes. And those are the freshest oysters you're going to get. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of issues with the oysters being bad. And a lot of people that order, order oysters don't necessarily know what's going on if it's going bad. Yeah. So. So you guys are shuck, are you guys shocking in the kitchen? In house, yes. Like, are you, are you shocking though <coughs> in the beginning of the night? Or are you guys shocking it's to as, order? At to order. And they should be able to tell. I mean, those guys should be trying them as they're going. I, that's what that's my opinion on that. So, yes, I don't know. So, I think there's a lot of room for improvement on this. I thought the appetizer was good. The service is amazing. Good, good. The, everything before, you know, the seating, the sommelier, everything's awesome. I think you guys got to get the back of the house sort of figured out. Yes, because you see us through all the changes where we definitely take. Yeah. You know, your feedback very highly. Well, and so the one thing that I said when I started this video, I said that Dream Dance was the premier steakhouse in Milwaukee. Were you here before? It was honestly amazing. So, when they would do, when you guys would cook steaks before, they were all very thin and they were seared. They were, this is on a grill, right? Grill, yes, not flat top. Yeah, so before it was seared. But we used to have. I had um, ostrich here, I had kangaroo, I had just yeah, crazy things. I'm gonna tell you, you had the best service in the you had the best service in Milwaukee, the cheapest wine prices with the best wine menu yes. and the the best food. It appealed to outside. It was customers. reasonable yes. I mean honestly. It was a smaller I, thing though, I can't picture what you're doing. It was much so you, no no you got the same size. Mm -hmm. 
but, but it was different. So you had the bar when you walked in on the right. You walked in and you had tables sort of everywhere. I honestly, I liked the atmosphere better before. Okay. You guys spent a million dollars on this place? Oh, man, I don't know. Whatever they spent. So this was only open a few months before COVID. But you always had that like dining room on the side over there. You had the same um, wine cellar in the back. Before, I liked the atmosphere better. Um, the ambiance, I like better. Was the atmosphere or ambiance? Was it more like not intimate, but yeah, versus well, I feel like this is very intimate, but also just very open as well. It's very open. Like this, you could go two ways. You could go. You honestly, you could make this a club, and you could have crazy music bumping like you're at. Cosmopolitan in Las mm. Vegas, right? That's a lot. <laughs> you could do it with the way this is set up. I mean, yes. you're walking through this, you might as well put lights on the wine bottles on the way in and have them flashing. I mean, more like Vegas inspired? This is not, but this is yes. not like, this is not like steakhouse. Like, throwback steakhouse like it used to be. Yeah. And you're missing some things on the menu too. I mean, in the past, like, instead of taking the the trimmings from the steaks and doing a steak tartare, take the trimming, trimmings of the steaks and do prime burgers. We tried the burger for a good week. They were a hit. Yeah. I don't know why we're not doing it, but that was only for a bar. So you do that, but you got to give it to everybody. But it was it was great. Awesome. It was a hit. So you do that, and you also got to do you got to do hand cut, handcrafted fries. Yes. Which I don't think they're off. They're completely off. Here. Those on the menu you know the other thing though for a steakhouse, you're gonna do twice baked potato. Do regular baked potatoes, loaded. More people I think will like those than the twice baked potato. They're easier to do. They can sit there all day. Yes, it's a hit on this too. This is not that good. <laughs> yeah, it's not that good. So um, the pork chop, very very dry. I have not tried the pork chop. Very dry. Uh, the lamb was cooked perfectly. The the meat was okay, mm -hmm. but that was probably the best thing that we've had. The what best thing that we've had. What appetizers did you guys have getting? Uh, we did get the seafood selection. Yes. Minus the oysters. Steak tartare. It was it was the best I've had here. Meatballs are dry. Okay. They were not as good as normal. Did you guys try this? We did. I did not have the. What did you guys think of the tuna? I way too dry. It almost tasted like it was. Yes, fresh, put the freezer, frosted, and so, okay. Okay. I guess is the Was it? Or was it fresh? Sense. So again, you guys are dealing with your executive chefs that are coming here. And it's not even cooked all the way through, so why could it be dry, but that would be Well, yeah. it was just like, it was like, and the problem with the king crab that came out, like we have the awesome big hairy um, claws. Mm -hmm. They tasted like they just got defrosted. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because yes. those are obviously frozen on the ship. Mm -hmm. So that was the only issue there. I'm excited actually to try these. Yes. Guys, try these. See what you think. Scallops. Get in there. Yeah. See what you think of that. Yeah. So, I mean, this is just my, my opinion on this stuff. And honestly, so... Like Sharon, I think she does an awesome job, but she hadn't tried a lot of this stuff on here. We all got a little sample tonight. Yeah, she didn't get to try the quick and fast. Her lamb rack, she didn't get yes. to try. I think you, I mean, you got to be like, like the big boys. You guys want to be a big boy. Mm -hmm. You got to have these people no, trying exactly. yes. no, everything. The notes are. Exactly. Yeah. I totally agree. Yes. Just my opinion on this. I mean, I love Milwaukee. I love um, Dream Dance, and honestly, like. Uh, Jason was the GM here before. Um, he was the Dream Dance right before you, or the, the, the CEO of Dream Dance right before you closed. But I mean, they, they were they were they were cooking. I mean, it was just different. So we're working on a good team in the back too. But I get no, it's it's hard. Really it's hard help, though, because it's it's one thing to hear from you know our servers relaying what our guests say, but hearing it firsthand. Yeah. Helps. It helps. And everything you say actually goes up. Just be honest with you. Yeah. But it's hard to 
Let's see how they are. I, I know it's hard to uh, uh, throw this around. Thank you. Blame it on Sharon. How are we doing? Good, good. So this actually seems okay. Yeah, they're not bad. They needed to be perfectly safe. Thank you. So they're cooked perfectly. Good. So the one thing they missed on it? Yes. Salt? salt and pepper. No salt and pepper. I had a feeling you were going to say that. I noticed that they are not salted. They need to, they, so that, that's the thing. Again, you watch Hell's Kitchen. It seems crazy. But he is so over the top in this stuff. And it's for a reason. It's the basics. It's the basics. So this, you want to do some sort of a, a thick, or some sort of a sea salt, right? Some sort of a, a, a large grain. Yep, and then the other thing that I'll do sometimes is I'll take like a, like some sort of infused olive oil. Like, you can, you can throw a truffle oil on this. Don't waste it on those because you, you're screwing that up. Put it on this or put it with like some kind of cayenne or some sort of like spicy oil. Be a different story. Not mad at you. They're cooked perfectly. They just need flavor seasoning. And what's crazy about it? That would be done. It would be perfect. And probably a little bit of lemon on top. I don't think they're gonna listen to me. They're gonna say he's just a pain in the butt. Here we go. Cheers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carter. Happy birthday to you. All right, she's she's getting it all together. All right, so come on in here, everybody. Go a little higher and no, no. tilt her down a little yeah, bit. All right, so you guys are all there. So it's like the big fish thing right now. So again, we're here at Dream Dance at Potawatomi, and we're going to talk about our rating, um, our little scale system that we came up with. So we want to be sort of consistent moving forward on all the experiences, and I'm going to always include the guests that come with us. They're going to get to do the same thing. So first thing, reservation process. So Carter, the score on the left is me, on the right is you. So the reservation process, they did not have a part of this. It was basically me texting Daryl. Come on in, little boy. <laughs> just get it. Okay, so it was me texting Daryl and just saying, hey, can we get a 5.30 reservation for six people um, tomorrow? And he responded immediately and said, I got five, uh, I got six people at 5.30 p.m. and I threw $1,500 in your card and you have a $40 uh, food, um, Coupon, so I'm giving that a ten, Carter. Uh, eight and a half. Oh, you're giving it a ten. 10. 10 you're giving it a ten as well. Sorry. Okay, so it's the same thing because we had nothing to do. So parking, um, valet. You could valet, but even if you have a valet, you're across the way. You're not even close to this. You still got to walk. I don't know. What do you guys think? 100, 150 yards. I'd probably say about 100. Yeah, you're you're walking a walk, long way. So we parked in the VIP area because um, we are diamond members here. Um, I'm giving it an 8.5, Carter. And Megan. I also give it an 8.5. All right. And the next thing is going to be the arrival and seating process. Carter, what did you see? Ten in and out, or in, sat down right away. Immediately. Just we just came right in. Through. Yep, we said, Ro, hey, we're here, and he took us right, I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. So I'm gonna give that a 10 as well. So let's talk about appetizers. What do you guys got? Megan, what do you think? Um, you're all right. I'd probably give it a six and a half. 6.5 for you guys. So we talked about this a little bit. So I looked at the, um, the seafood tower. So I think one of the problems is they don't even have everything that's on the seafood tower. And we're on a we're on a Wednesday here. You can go right down the road and you can get this stuff if you really want to. You know, at the freshest fish market in the probably the state. Um, they had no oysters, and the lobster was cooked amazing. The the um, shrimp was cooked amazing. Um, the the tartar was pretty good. The tuna was dry. The tuna was very dry, and then the meatballs. 
I wasn't really impressed with them like they have been in the past. They weren't really like juicy. They they were very dry as well. You know, we're using the same words over and over. But so you guys are giving it a 6.5. I'm gonna give it a 5.5 for the appetizers. Um, main course. <sighs> so main course, we all ordered our steak the same way, right? We all ordered it medium rare. And you guys can see um, a little bit from the pictures. Mine was medium well. Um, some, yeah, Carter's was medium well. He ordered it medium rare. Dan's was the closest you could have gotten to a medium rare. Very frustrating there. Um, they didn't even bring our scallops out until we reminded them. Uh, the lamb, the lamb, the lamb was cooked very good. It was okay. Um, Stephanie's steak, she got a filet. Filet should never be tough. It should be the best cut of meat that you have, and it was very, very tough. That's a problem. And the pork was dry. I mean, there's a huge problem with that. You gotta don't overcook all this stuff. I don't know what's going on. I know they've got some problems in the kitchen. So you guys for main course are at six. A six. six. I'm gonna call it a three point five. I mean, it is very like you could it could be much better. And I'm gonna say if I can do it better at my house, there's a huge problem. Um, we're spending a lot of money here, and we'll talk about the bill here in a second. Um, let's talk about desserts. Desserts. So we got the hot donuts, which I got fed to me, which were amazing, right? Megan, what'd you think good. of those? Yeah. Hey guys, thank you for the donuts. Hey, you're welcome. It's the weirdest thing I've ever received from a table of four dudes, but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carter, what'd you get? Uh, I got the sweet cream ice cream. All right, and then I got the chocolate cake. I've had it a bunch here. It's okay. Um, it's... It's a, it's somewhat moist. It just, it's, it's okay. It's the best thing I think that they have here. I'm gonna give the desserts a 7.2. There's a lot of room for improvement there. Drinks. So we, we all got mixed drinks, us three, at first. And we all were happy with them, right? I was very difficult with my order, and I was happy with it. Um, wine, I think Roe did a great job, right? So the first white was very buttery. It was an awesome Chardonnay. We all enjoy that. It was probably one of the best wines that we had. Um, for me, it was the third Spotswood um, Cab, the 2014. That was my favorite. I like the dry. Megan, you're not a huge fan of the dry, right? Right. And then the last one, really no interest in. And the price on these wines was all over the place. Um, the two reds were 180 and 100, otherwise 65 somewhere. So both well at 65 for the white. So we're at somewhere in there. So you guys are, we're at a? So I was at a seven. All right, I'm at a 7.6 for the drinks. I think Ro did a good job. He tried really hard on those. Um, I was happy with that. So the ambiance, Carter talked about that. I give it a three overall. Really? Um, a little Rip Van Winkle. I'm allergic to that. Every time I drink it, I break out in handcuffs. Or a seven overall. <laughs> we, we marked it all down here. So. Um, the lighting's good. I just kind of seem like tucked away. Almost like I'm in a crowded world. Like you would do it in the party. Find this here. So people might ask, what do you mean when you ask about ambiance? So ambiance is going to be another word for atmosphere in the sense of the mood a place or setting has. If an expensive restaurant has soft lighting and peaceful music, it has a pleasant, soothing ambiance. Okay, so I'm looking at the ambiance in here. It's all right. I liked it a lot more before. And here's some things. So, we have, I'm gonna take some pictures of this stuff, and I'm gonna show you guys. They have luminary carrot candles, all right? They have in different spots of this restaurant, and some are on, some are off. All you gotta do is turn the timer on, at the same time every night, and it is done. It is taken care of. There's some other things. I mean, some like little things that I see here. I see lights that are on the top of their fixtures that are crooked. Fix that kind of stuff. It's not that hard. To, to take care of these like little things at a restaurant like this. There's another thing. There's a light above us that keeps on flickering. Fix that thing because it's super annoying. It turns on and off very often. Pay attention to the details because we see that stuff. You go to some of these restaurants, go to a French restaurant, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guarantee you're not gonna see it. You're gonna see this stuff at all. If you can't do the little things right, you're definitely not gonna be able to do the big things right. 
and that's one thing that we're seeing here. So you guys were giving it a seven, I'm giving it a half of that, a 3.5 for ambiance here. Cleanliness, I'm gonna take this one all the way. Um, cleanliness, if on top of the pictures, there's a little bit of dust on some of them. Um, the thing that really got me in the bathroom, uh, on the toilet, on the toilet, really on it. You can't have that kind of stuff. I know you're at a casino, but we're at a very fancy restaurant. You gotta check that stuff out. Um, Carter and Megan, you guys are giving that a three. I'm gonna give it a one. Again, you gotta get this stuff figured out. If you can't figure that out, you're gonna struggle on everything else. And that's what we're seeing, right? Over and over and over again here. This is a brutally honest channel. This is not a sugar-coated, being super positive like I am on my other channels. I am keeping it real. Deal with it. Last thing, service. So, we're looking more at Sharon. We're more looking, looking more at what Sharon has done for us here tonight. So, anytime we wanted something, Sharon was here. Right, I think she did a great job. But she did anything that you would ask of her, and her hands are sort of tied with the way the, the, the food comes out and everything else. Um, Carter, where are, you, where are you guys at? I'm at a nine. You're at a nine? I'm gonna give her a 9.5 on that. I think she it was almost a perfect score. So, couldn't ask for any more. So, Sharon's been my server here uh, two different times. I think she's done an amazing job. So, at the end of this, out of 100, Carter, you guys are at a 76 out of 100. I'm at a 66.3. Dream dance. I'm gonna say in the past, you're gonna be in the 90s. It was good, it was amazing. It was the best steakhouse in Milwaukee. Right now, there's a lot of room for improvement. I know there's a lot of changes going on, and I apologize. I appreciate the casino does comp this stuff. We've definitely earned that. Um, the bill at the end of the day, and this is another thing. So the bill is gonna show $1,708. 20 cents. Well, when you use your comp, it takes off the sales tax. So it's gonna take off most of the sales tax, right? $1,540 worth, and then we're gonna pay the rest. So our balance due is $383.27, and I give a $200 tip. So $583.27 is gonna be the total that we're giving here. So the total that um, sharing gets to take home is 290 plus 200. So she's gonna take $490 home dealing with us tonight. Um, Two more questions, and I'd like you guys to both answer these individually. Was tonight a good value? So I want you to think about that. So the total is basically $1,750. Megan, was tonight a good value for five people? Are you looking for like a yes, no? That's a yes or a no, and would you come here again um. and spend that much money? I feel like I come here again for what I got. Okay. But in Carter? terms of yeah, your guys' entrees, I think they're a little different. I Carter. just got pasta. So. And it looked good. Yeah, yeah my pasta time. was good. Yep. Uh, so I mean, if you look at it that way, I mean, she her meal only costs what fifty dollars, and we're looking at three hundred dollars a person for five people. Um, I don't think it's worth the value for what we got. The steak could be cooked right, and I guess the ambiance and cleanliness could be better. I think we could get there. Yeah, it would no. Be worth, worth it. Um, but obviously, with the comp and everything, that's that's on the so. so the interesting thing is one thing they changed about this menu is they basically cut the prices by like almost half on some of these. They cut like 70, 80% on some of them. So we're getting a lot more bang for our buck than we were before, which is good. But there's no excuse for not hitting a home run on these things. I'm gonna tell you, if I go to Capitol Grill, every single time, that steak's gonna be done the same way. If I go to Eddie Martini's, it is always gonna be done the same way. I don't care where I go. That's amateur hour, dude. Right? I mean, you guys would agree with that. You guys yeah. have been to awesome steakhouses. Yeah. We spend a ton of money at these places. We're expecting a certain level of service, which we got, and we're expecting a service, a certain level of food, which we did not get, and it's very disappointing. Um, to answer my question, was it a good value? No, I would never spend $1,750 for this. I'd be mad if I spent $100 on a steak that looked like that, 130 bucks, whatever it is. I would send it back, I would be upset. 
Would I come here again? Yeah, if it's free. I mean, if my casino is gonna pay for it, I'll come here again for that, but that's it. So again, don't think I'm being negative, because I'm not. I'm keeping it real. I want you guys to realize, I want you guys to come here. I want you guys to try it and let me know what you think. They don't have the lower end items on the menu like they used to. They used to have the burgers, the cheeseburgers, the fries. They're gone, so you can't even get that at the bar. You're gonna have to get something else on the menu. Let me know what you think. Am I wrong? I wanna know in the comments what you would do. And happy birthday, Carter. Awesome. Thank you for dealing with him, Megan. Of course. You're the best. <laughs> but hey, we appreciate you guys watching. This is one of our first videos coming out where we actually have some structure and what we're doing. Let me know if you like this. We're gonna do a lot more of these things. There's a lot of stuff that our editors are gonna go through here. We had a ton of fun. But thank you for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Just remember, Jason was there. Jason was there. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Thanks for watching.